So I did post a video a few weeks ago talking about what baby items I would recommend that are expensive. And on that list was the Baby Brezza formula dispenser. Now, today I got a comment from someone, or maybe she had already commented it before, and I was only seeing it today. But anyways, saying that um, it really shouldn't be recommended because it has lawsuits against it and how it really wasn't something that I guess was safe and that I shouldn't be recommending it. So we went back and forth a little while, and in the end, I ended up just deleting the whole thread and also blocking her because she ended up saying that I was a bad person for recommending this when I clearly know that there are issues with it and etc. Even though in my mind, I was trying to have a back and forth conversation with her as to why maybe her opinion wasn't totally right, but also maybe why mine was also not totally right. Then another person also chimed in in a separate comment, which was a little bit suspicious because they had zero followers, zero accounts that they liked. It looked like a brand new account that basically commented their baby was almost hospitalized while using the baby Brezza. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that you went through that. Um, it still did work well for our family regardless. But from what I have read and the research that I've done into it so far, it sounds like there are no actual claims against it as in there hasn't been anything proven um and then i asked her if it was for sure the formula machine that had caused it um she which i guess understandably was pretty defensive about this and then the other commenter was saying that i called the one whose baby was almost hospitalized a liar which wasn't the case <laughs> but anyways um and yeah i ended up just deleting that thread too and blocking that user too because I was like okay this is getting like a little bit too dramatic for just a personal opinion video that I posted on the things that were expensive but worth it for myself and my family but after doing a little bit of research into it and really just trying to get to the bottom of it I have concluded that yes there is still it looks like anyways an ongoing lawsuit um, with baby Brezza and a family back in I believe it was 2020 or maybe 2021, that had claimed the dispenser was making watery formula. So essentially the formula dispenser wasn't dispensing out the correct amount of formula and therefore baby wasn't getting enough nutrients. Now from the other things I looked into, there have been claims of other parents saying this as well since then. And in addition to that though, there have also been many parents, including myself, which the machine worked really well for. And I think, I guess in all of this, um, maybe it's important to consider that there may not just be one cause for this. Like, I'm sure there are faulty machines out there, for sure, from Baby Brezza. And I did see somebody else comment that Baby Brezza said themselves that there are machines that are defective, which, I don't know, I couldn't find anything actually, like, on that. Um, the thing I could find, though, from the representative from Baby Brezza is that they said as long as you are maintaining and using it in the recommended way, then the machine should be working properly to dispense the amount of formula that you need. But we also have to keep in mind that there are a lot of Baby Brezza machines being produced and used, so I'm sure there are some of them that are definitely defective. Um, I think, though, a big thing that a lot of people don't really understand or maybe they don't know is you have to really maintain these machines. Like, I do remember when we were using them for both of our kids that I was cleaning them daily and then doing a deep clean once a week. I also did make sure that every couple of weeks I was calibrating and basically just seeing if the formula machine was dispensing the correct amount of formula. I did this by making a bottle myself by hand with the correct amount of formula and then I also let the machine make a bottle. And then I weighed them both just to ensure that they were at least somewhat accurate or somewhat close in size. And they always were. But again, I did maintain my machine um, very, very religiously. So there could also be that element in it for some of the parents who the machine didn't work for. Maybe it wasn't being maintained properly. Um, it's also pretty finicky depending on what type of formula that you are using. And you have to use the little wheel thingy to select the appropriate formula. Also, though, I did hear from some parents that apparently even if you select the right little spot, I guess, in the wheel for your specific formula, it still doesn't dispense properly. 
Um, and then another factor that I read is that sometimes the water in it doesn't get up to the proper temperature. So therefore the bottles are being contaminated because the water isn't being heated up to what it is recommended to. So I guess all of this is to say that I absolutely do believe that there have been cases of kids being malnourished and the formula dispenser not actually doing its job correctly and dispensing the incorrect amount of formula. I don't know why that was happening or why it happened in all of these cases that are being brought forward in the lawsuit, which again, I guess was partially dismissed, but is ongoing. And yes, although I do believe there are some defective machines out there, I don't think that they are all defective. Um, I think from what I have read, the vast majority of people have had it work really, really well for them. But this does not mean that it takes away from those families that it really did not work well for. And not only did not work well for, their kids were actually hospitalized. That is awful. I cannot imagine that. And I absolutely do think that in those cases, it needs to be investigated for sure. Um, but in the end, I think that everyone really does need to do their research before buying any products for their babies or just any products in general where you are spending your money. And let's say you got a recommendation from somebody online. I do urge you to do your research as well. When I bought our formula machine, it was back in 2018. And from what I can remember, there were no claims against it at that point. I believe at that point it was still fairly new, but it was gaining popularity. But from what I know, there wasn't anything big back then that was being alleged that was negative against Baby Brezza. So yeah, um, I hope that if you are one of the people that wants a Baby Brezza, that you will also do your research into it to determine if the potential risk is worth it for you and your family. As I said, it did work really well for our family, but at the same time, we were pretty on top of maintaining it and also just checking every couple of weeks to make sure that the bottles were being dispensed properly. And hopefully it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways. If you are exclusively formula feeding and using the baby Brezza and you are noticing that your baby isn't gaining weight or there are some issues in that area, please bring this up to your doctor. Definitely clean out your baby Brezza as well go ahead and check and make sure that it is actually mixing the bottles at the correct formula weight. And I really hope that the Baby Brezza ends up being a worthwhile investment and a really convenient thing that is great, especially for the middle of the night feedings. But again, at the same time, go ahead and do your research on it, see what you think. And if you are willing to be on top of the maintenance, as well as making sure to check every couple of weeks or even every week, that the bottles are being mixed appropriately, then I really do think that it is worthwhile to get a baby Brezza.